welcome to my channel uh we'll be showing you here how you can divide a given line into a number of equal parts and if you are watching my video for the first time you come across this channel for the first time this is uh, a channel that is meant for the teaching of technical drawing so on this channel i will be teaching you a practical aspect of technical drawing and in fact everything about technical drawing is purely practical and you need to practice it if you want to know it you want to be good at it you need to learn it so what i'm going to do here is very very important because it's as if this is the beginning of technical drawing so i will be showing you here how you can divide a given line into a number of equal parts so the length of line that i'm going to do, going to divide into a number of equal parts is 60 millimeters and i'm going to divide it into nine equal parts so let's see how this can be done so the first thing to do is to draw a thin continuous line of any length like this so i'm using all right i believe that you can see this line that i've drawn now and the next thing that you are going to do after drawing this line with thin continuous line so the next thing that you are going to do is to take the measurement of the line so on this line okay so we are dividing a line 60 millimeters into nine equal parts so this is the starting point here and it ends here this is 60 millimeters so i'm going to make this line i'm going to make it a thick line from here to here so i'll make it a thick line like this okay because this is the major line that we are working on so we have to make it a thick line so having made this line a thick line so the next thing i'm going to do is to label this end so this is end a of the line and this is end b of the line okay so now the next thing that we are going to do is that you take your 30 degree set square and you set it like this on your on the you set like this so on the point on the point a and it is uh it is on the edge of the t square then you draw this line in this direction so of any length that you like but i'm okay with i'm okay with this so i will call this line i will call it line ac so i'll put c at this point so the next thing to do is to take my compass so i take my compass so i take my compass and i will extend it to any convenient radius but i want it to be to be like this so this is okay so i'm going to make nine points on this line ac so look at the way i'm going to do it put the point of the compass at point a and you make an arc here like this just a small hack you don't have to make it big so this is one so don't forget that we are going to nine so put it at one here and you make an arc here so this is two then the next is put it at two so you make an arc here so this is three then you put it at three so you make an arc here so this is four then you put it at four so you make an arc here so this is five then you put at five so you make an arc here so this is six so you put it here you make an arc here so this is seven and you put it here so you make an arc here so this is eight and then so the last one is put it at eight so you make an arc here so this is nine okay so all right so we have this point on line ac so the next thing that you are going to do is to take your uh, ruler so set it at point nine and b so we have to join the last division and the end of the line together with a thin continuous line like this so you join this together like this join nine b together like this okay so the next thing to do is to draw parallel lines to this line on each of these points so let's see how we are going to do that so you set your set square so set your set square on this line line i be like this so you set it like this so you support it with your ruler like this so now let me tell you something about what we want to do here now in case the your, your, when you join 9B together, it goes in this direction. It goes in this direction. I mean, it, bend, it bends in this direction or it stands vertically. You are correct. So you don't have to think that um, the way I do it here is, the, is, the, is how you are supposed to do your own. So what we determine the direction of the line is the radius that you take. 
So whether it is like this, or it bends more than this, or it goes in this direction, or it is vertical, you are right. So please bear that in mind. Okay, let's go and draw other line, other on the other point. So, so you set your set square on this line, nine be like this, and you move it to the next point. So you set it on this line, and you support it with your ruler as I've done here. You support it with your ruler. So if you do not see my ruler. So this is my ruler, so you can see the ruler now. Okay, so you set it like this. So the next thing is you shift it to the next point. So the ruler is stationary on the paper while we are moving the set square. So take note of that. So you draw this line now. So you draw this line. Then the ruler remains stationary. You move the set square to the next point. So you draw like this. Okay. So then you move the set square to the next point and you draw then the next is move the set square to the next point and you draw okay then you move it to the next point so you draw this so move the set square to the next point and you draw okay so to the next point so you draw and to the last point and you draw this like this okay so we are divided this line into nine equal parts as you can see here so it's as simple as i've shown it here and if you are asked that what is the relationship between these lines so the relationship between them is that these lines they are parallel to each other they are parallel to each other so if you are asked to draw parallel lines so this is how you can do it and we also have other ways that you can draw parallel lines which i'm still going to do and show you here on this channel so all you need to do is to practice when you practice it you surely master it thank you for watching and thank you for listening keep on practicing and god bless you